Oh, some God, oh, some God, mighty God, mighty God, we give you praise. Oh, some God, oh, some God, oh, some God, mighty God, mighty God, we give you praise. Oh, some God, you are highly lifted up. Oh, some God, you are highly lifted up, mighty God. You are highly lifted up, oh, some God. You are highly lifted up, mighty God. Oh, some God, oh, some God, mighty God, mighty God, we give you praise. Oh, some God, you are highly lifted up. Oh, some God, you are highly lifted up, mighty God. You are highly lifted up, oh, some God, you are highly lifted up, mighty God. Oh, some God, oh, some God, mighty God, mighty God, you are good, you are so good, oh, some God, oh, some God, oh, some God, oh, some God, mighty God, faithful God, we leave you praise. Give you praise, oh some God. You are highly lifted up, oh some God. You are highly lifted up, mighty God. You are highly lifted up. Oh, some God, you are highly lifted up, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for today. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are a good God. You are a loving Father. Lord, we praise you, we thank you. We give you all the praise, Lord, because you are God, because you are Lord, because you are God. We are grateful, Lord God, for your love. We are thankful, O oh God, for your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mosa pele paradine mohonza ginahana. Leshente bonando gobondo bilaidi gibosh. Masha Dele Kaida, we are thankful. In Jesus' name we pray. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The Lord bless you as you are joining me for early will I seek you daily. This is a session where we just get to command our day and speak life into what we do so that things may be well with us. I just want to welcome you today as you're joining me just for a few minutes. Let's pray together and let's commit our day. Let's involve God in our dealings and God is going to be good to us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I'm so happy to have you. I'm, to, I'm so happy to see you waking up this morning. Before you go for work, please, I want you to join me. Let's pray. Let's commit our day. 
into the hands of God. Let's create things that we just can't create with, the, with our natural abilities. Praise the Lord. Now, before we get started, I want you just to lift your voice in your house, in your home, in your bedroom, or wherever you are listening to the sound of my voice from. Or you are already getting ready to go for work right now. You are putting yourself together. I want you to lift your voice. Thank him for waking you up this morning. In the book of Thessalonians, the Bible encourages us to thank God at all times. I want us to give God thanks and praise. Now, you see, today is the, is, the, is the 31st, actually. It's the last day of the month of May. We are concluding the month of May today, the month of prayer. And I just want you to thank God. Appreciate Him. Look around your life. Do you feel there is something that needs to thank God for today. Just look around, look at your home, look at your, uh, your, your siblings, look at your, 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 your marriage, look at your business, look at your job, look at, just, just find something that you feel you should thank God for. Now, if you can't find nothing, the Bible does not say now because there is nothing, you cannot thank God. The Bible says in good and in bad times, you can still thank God because he is God of all flesh and he's the one that makes all things beautiful in his time. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are, just thank him for restoring you uh, back to your, se uh, your senses today, for putting life into your bones. Uh, I thank him for waking you up. Thank him for giving you sight. You, you, are, you, you can see clearly now. Your eyes are not blare. All right. There is strength in your bones. You can move around and do your chores. Just thank God. Open your mouth. Let's thank God and let's appreciate God this morning. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you. We give you all the praise and we are grateful for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for putting life into our bones. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing sight in our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for the ability to hear you today. You are a good God. You are a gentle Savior. You are a gentle Father. We are grateful, Lord, for putting us, oh God, in this, uh, in, in this situation this morning where we can give you praise and all the glory. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity, oh God, God, to pray and call on you this morning. You are indeed a God that hears from heaven and a God that answers by fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our families. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our children. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our jobs. Thank you for our businesses. Thank you for putting a roof over our heads. Thank you for putting clothes on our bodies. Thank you, Lord, for putting uh, for for putting money in our pockets. And Lord, we are grateful, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for the month of May, the month of prayer. Lord, I look back from the first month, from, from the first day of this month till to this last day. It's always, it's only been you. It's been you, Lord. It's been indeed you, Lord. It's been you, Lord. It's been you, Lord. And we are grateful because all we've seen is your goodness. We are grateful, Jehovah. Reba Shanta Labanda. Le Konzu Vredina Mahaya. Raso Vepeledina Mahanda. Labra da 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 de 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 in the name of Jesus. Se coro bine, mante duzeiva, shanta gida barose, mele parate le dinamaha, shakunde le branamanda, mozo vondo, Lord, we are thankful, we are grateful. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for what you did during this month. And thank you for what you're going to do today, the last day of the month. We give you all the praise, Lord. You are a good God. You are an amazing God. I want to thank you for what awaits me today. I want to, I want to thank you also for what awaits me in the month of June. 
I am grateful for the blessings that you've given me so far. And I'm thankful for those that you're yet to give me in the month of June. I am grateful for how far you've brought me. I'm also thankful for where you're taking me. I am grateful for how much you've blessed me this month of May. But I'm also thankful, Lord, for how much you will bless me in the month of June. You are indeed a God of all flesh. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the adoration. I may not have much. I may not have everything that I need currently. But I know as I still hold on to you, Lord, many more things are yet to happen. Many more things are yet to come. You are a good God. You are a loving Father. I want to thank you for preserving me for from challenges that my eyes couldn't see. Thank you for preserving me from attacks that I couldn't have defended myself from. Thank you, Lord, for covering me from the eyes of the envious men and women. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me from what could have swallowed me. I am grateful, Lord, and I'm thankful. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Masha te brenemen kotala dinamaha. Raso jatena kanama. Sinto lebene. Kensha te telebradaya. Inoze. Sheankos. Kombradina. La so velete. Shaye kabana. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you. Now, I'm going to read from the book of Ecclesiastes today, and I'm also going to read from the book of Job. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to see Mama Benedict, Mozambi there. Good to see my mother, Mama Strida Monster there. Good to see uh, Mama Flavia there. God bless you. Good to see uh, Mama Mulenga Gladys. God bless you. South Africa is watching today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray today. Today is the last day of the month. And I'm glad that you're praying along and you're connected with me today. It's just a few minutes and we're going to be done. You can go about your day. Ecclesiastes chapter, the last chapter, chapter 12. All right. It's the last chapter. And let me read verse 13, the last chapter, verse 13 and verse 14. Praise the Lord. Makubredishe. Verse 13, the Bible says, Now let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All has been heard. Fear God. And keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Verse 14. For God will bring every deed into judgment, which every secret thing, whether good or evil, has done. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this morning I want to submit to you that what is more important to God is how you end. How you start does not matter. Praise the Lord. Amen. How you start does not really matter. Today is the last day of the month. Now, the Bible says, now let's hear. What's the conclusion of the matter? What's the conclusion of the month of, of, of May? Praise the Lord. Amen. And you see... One person one time, he said, good things, <laughs> are, they await, they, they, they are for those people who wait. Good things. Somebody said that before. And another person said, the good thing, good things are saved for the last. You remember what happened at the wedding in Ghana, in the book of John. Jesus was invited to a wedding, and the Bible says he did a miracle there where... He commanded water to turn into wine, did a, a wonderful miracle there. And then the people that were there started complaining. And they, they said, why did you save, you know, the best wine at the end of the celebration? 
In other words, God does big things last minute. And there is something that we call a last minute miracle. The month is finishing today. Maybe you thought, ah, what I was believing God to get in the month of March, a uh, month of May, I may not get it until June or until July or August. No, but let me tell you something. Even in the last day, you can see God. That's why in the book of Acts, the Bible says, in the last days, Acts, in the book of Acts, it, is, it shall happen in the last days or in those days, the last days. Which one are the last days? In the month of May, the last days was this week that we are talking about now. So what is important to God is the conclusion of the matter. Now, let me read something in the book of Job, Job chapter chapter 8. Verse 7, the Bible says, And though your beginning was small, your latter days will be very great. In other words, it doesn't matter how you started this month of May. Are you listening to me? All I can tell you today is you're finishing strong. Yes, you are finishing strong. And I'm so I'm so grateful. It's, you know, it's a beautiful thing because you started this month. You know, everybody started it on the 1st of May. But along the way, some died on the 7th. Some died on the 8th. Some died on the 15th. Some couldn't make it on the, to the 27th. Uh, somebody was admitted yesterday into the hospital and just died this morning. But look, God wants to see, he wants you to see the conclusion of the month. He wants you to meet the 24 hours of this month. And you're going to see it wrap up and you will step into the month of June. And what is God saying about the month of June? What is it that we need to do as a body of Christ in this month of of June. What should be our dedication? What is this month of June that is coming? Being called, what, ad, what agenda is God giving to the body of Christ? To us as a, as a church, to us the people that seek him. What is God saying about the month of June? If the month of May was a month of prayer, what should this month be? Is somebody listen to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Though the beginning was small, your latter days in other words your last days must be great now i want you to tell god today oh god whatever i couldn't have from the first of this month till the 30th today the 31st the last day let me have it mm -hmm. it is possible let me have it in one of you know in one of my services i walked to one of my daughters uh and I told her she was working for a particular bank. All right? She was working for a particular bank. Her name was Charity. I walked to this woman uh, according to what God spoke to me about. As I went straight to her and I said, my daughter, God said, can you resign? He's got a special thing for you. He wants you to do something special. And because this woman had been with me for a while and she knows God speaks to me and she's very obedient to the voice of God. So she decided to do just like I told her. You know, it was a very tough instruction. You work for a bank, you're earning good. There's no challenge. There's no problem. And it's not like the boss was maltreating her or something. No, everything was okay. So I walked to her. It was in a service. And I told her, please, God says, resign. Can you stop this job? And God wants to give you something. And even when I was prophesying to her, myself, I was thinking, what could this be? I told her, I said, this year, God wants to, he wants to double or triple or increase you, you know, financially. And he's changing a lot of things about you. And she said, Amen. And immediately after the service, there were people that walked to her. They said, are you sure you want to do what the man of God said to you? Are you sure you're going to resign? Are you sure this is what you're going to You know, she had friends and she had family. And, you know, there were people, of course, that told that you don't, you don't have to do this thing. But you see, within that week, she wrote a resignation letter dropped it by uh, you know the head office and all those things and before you know it 
They called her, you know, to talk to her. What could be the problem? Because she was one of the best bankers they had there. What could be the problem? Why do you want to resign? And, you know, the boss literally refused to, uh, you know, to, to grant her the, 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 the resignation. And the woman says, I just have to do it. I, I, I've got other commitments now. And they were surprised. And so they told her, anyway, hope you come back to your senses. And if you do, please just reach me. That's what the boss says. Reach me and I'll be able to give you back the job if it will be available for you. And so before you know it, she stopped working and she started staying. And I told her, very soon God wants to do something for you this, this year. And so in that particular year, after resigning, the first month finished, at least she had something. The second month finished, she had something. And she's waiting to hear what God was saying. <laughs> the third month, she was working. She was just home, you know, doing, uh, running around and, you know, coming to church. And that's all. Nothing was happening. In the fifth month, things got a little bit tough for her. All right? They got tough for her. And all the money that she had saved, you know, she's now used it for on bills and everything. The sixth month, it was even crazy. It got to a place where she couldn't pay her bills no more. So she later decided to sell. She had two vehicles. She decided to sell one of her cars and she sold the car at a very cheap amount price and somebody got it. She managed to, to, to clear most of her bills. You know, she, she, she had some two people she was keeping in her home plus a, a little child like this, a daughter, pay school fees and all sorts. The money finished. The seventh month, nothing was happening. Before you know it, she decided to call me. She said, Papa, are you sure you heard God? <laughs> when I heard that, I said, eh, yes, I heard God. Please, when is God doing what you told me? You told me to resign from my job. <laughs> I became afraid. I was like, did I hear God or it was the voice of the devil I heard? And I said, no, don't worry, God will do it. And she left. When she left, I prayed about it. God didn't say nothing. I started blaming myself. So how, 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 how could I get so excited to tell somebody to resign for it from a very good paying job? All right. And she was a kind of a daughter that most of the time she would even remember me. You know, I'll be seated in my house at times and she would send me a lot of airtime. And now all those things now stopped coming. The airtime was no longer there because she's broke now. <laughs> the airtime was not coming at times I'll be home she'll send somebody home you know to bring me some groceries then and all those things just stopped because she's dry the well has gone dry you know nothing is happening and I could feel the heat now I said if she can't even buy common airtime now how, how hard is it for her and the eighth month the ninth month nothing was happening Nothing, things good. So she later decided, maybe, you know, of course, voices were speaking to her. People were telling her, maybe, you know, you have to start looking for what you can do. She started applying in different places, looking for a job, and nothing was happening. The ninth month, she decided to go back to her office. She told me, if your God does not do this thing now, me, I'm going back to my job. In my head, I was like, ah, what do I do? You know, it got to a place where if she calls, she started calling me like every second. You know, my phone wouldn't rest. I started avoiding the calls. I said, ah, no, 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 no. Why, why did I do this? And before you know it, she says, I'm now going back to my former office. I'm going to ask for that job back if it's still there. She went back, called the boss, went to meet the boss. The boss said, oh, sorry, that, that position was actually taken. All right, you will have to wait. Actually, we don't even have any other position. So you will have to wait and see if we get another position or we get a vacancy or whatever it is, we're going to call you back. And the boss started saying, what was wrong with you? What came over you? And she cried, telling the boss, I listened to a pastor. 
I made the worst mistake of my life. And she really cried. And the boss started, oh, you see these men of God. Hey, what, what, what? And she started, like, I felt bad. Not because she said what she said. No, I felt bad that I put somebody's life in problems. I started asking God, God, did I really hear you? Are you the one that really spoke to me? And God was just quiet. He was in there. The tenth month was like December, the last month of the year. And she now, this time around, she was calling every day, every week. She's telling me, say, sir, it is now the last month of the year. You said God will do this thing this year. If God is going to do it next year, that is that God that spoke to you is not from heaven. It's another God that you created. And she, now she could feel the heat. And I, keep tell, I kept telling her, God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. And I kept praying for her. And long story short, I remember it was Christmas. And oh my God. She didn't have nothing to eat. Not like the, it was tough for her. You know. Some of her sisters came up and said, Hey, Pastor, hey, what? Sam even stopped coming to church because of that. Because she was taking care of a lot with a small salary. It was not, you know, it was good money, but it was not really that good. Now, something happened. <laughs> like the last week of the month of December, of that particular year, I got a phone call. The phone rang more than 10 times that day. Da, 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 the phone rang and I was seeing her calls and I was afraid because I looked at my prophecy and I looked at the days. I was like, this thing is not coming to pass. All right. Something was telling me to call her, to apologize to her and maybe to connect her to, her, to a job that could help her. But I said, if I do this, then my prophetic call will be in... It, it, it will be in jeopardy. It will be in problems now. People won't believe what I say anymore. You know? <laughs> so I should stand by what I said. Another thing in me was telling me, Israel, be humble. Humble yourself. Call this woman and apologize. Another thing was telling me, you are a prophet. <laughs> you heard from God. So I didn't know I was divided within myself. She kept calling. She kept calling. And now she sent a message. She said, where are you? You know, she didn't greet me, say man of God or anything. She just sent a message, where are you? When I looked at the message, where are you? Where, why should you ask me where I am? In my mind, I was like, I said, this woman organized the area boys. You know, this woman has organized people to come and beat pastor. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> that's what was running in my head. I'm, I'm sure this woman, by this time, she's gone to Katondo Street, organize all those boys <laughs> put them together she's filled one bus about to come to my house when i heard where are you i said mm -mm, this where are you does not sound well you know there's how you ask somebody where are you but it sounds normal you greet them you know there's that form of respect but the message just kept in fact the where are you was not even full english you know it's those where w what what with the you i was like ah, 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 this does not sound Instead of answering, say, oh, I'm home, I'm here. I replied, I said, why? <laughs> why are you asking? <laughs> and she says, I need to see you now. I said, no, I was replying. I said, you can't see me now. <laughs> and she says, I really need to see you now. I replied, I said, you can't really see me now. I was asking, I called one of my sons. I said, what do you think about this? Should I allow this person to come? The person said, mm, this, one, this thing does not sound well. Okay? This thing does not sound well. I don't trust this thing. So, he now gave me an idea. This boy now told me, say, okay, tell her let's meet by Manda Hill. And I said, okay, let's meet by Manda Hill. And now, I said, what should happen? One of my sons now told me, say, tell her the place we are going to meet. It should be somewhere where we, if we stand somewhere. We can see how many people she's coming with. I said, okay, all right, okay. So I now told her, I said, oh, I'm actually by Manda Hill. You can meet me by Manda Hill. And okay, the woman says, okay, no problem. I'm coming there right now. And 
quickly. We rushed to Manda Hill because my house was not very far from that place. We rushed to Manda Hill and we got to Manda Hill and we told her a place to meet us from, to meet me from. But I went with now two of my sons were now together. I said, if anything is to happen, at least somebody should give report to police. I said, this man is just a prophet. He just spoke like this and like that. Somebody should just give report. If they carry me now, <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah, woman of God says, what a trench of faith. Yes, it is. It was, all right? The faith was stretched. <laughs> Seriously. So, I went there and the woman came. And when I saw her coming, she came with her. Another person, you know, I think they were came three or so. And this was a tablet. And plus, the, was it their husband or something? I don't know. Was it their husband, the fiancé or something? I can't remember. But there was a man. And they came. It's been a while now. And they came and we saw them on a distance. And she started calling me. Calling me. Calling me. You know, where you pick a call, you don't say hello. No, you just put it on your ear. You want to hear what the person was saying. And I answered and she told me, I'm where you told me to be. And I said, who have you come with? And she was honest enough to say, oh, I've come with this person and this person. I said, all right, I'm coming. Just give me a second. So we came downstairs and went to meet them where they were. But I made sure I looked around and said, there are no people waiting. No. The moment I got there, we sat down and she screamed. And she said, you are a man of God. I said, what do you mean? Because even as I was seated on that chair, I didn't bother her. My leg, you know, how you sit your legs are ready to run. <laughs> they are ready to take off. If you hear, catch him. <laughs> I was just there. And the moment she said, you are a man of God. It was like strength was restored back to me. I sat on that chair like a king. <laughs> I balanced well. Matter of fact, I was almost taking my shoe. I was almost pulling my shoe to balance. <laughs> I said, what happened? And she removed that tablet. I remember it was a Samsung tablet. And she saw me. See the emails. See the this. See the phone calls. See the messages. And she started showing me how she got a job with the UN. All right, she got a job with the UN, and actually, she and the husband it was two people actually they got a job. No, 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 it's not, it, no, 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 that, that was a story for another people. For two people, it was another people. For her, it was her alone. She that's how she got it with the husband, and the, was it the fiance or something? She came. The, the fiancé said she's been on calls and this is what has been happening. And they told me the contracts, whatever happened, and the kind of money. Like this is something that she applied for. I don't know, she pursued it some, some years back. They now remembered her. Money that was transferred to her account. Like she showed me so much. I was just there. And she told me I'm, I'm now flying to go to so, 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 so place. I said, when are you flying? And they told me, said, after we talked, they told me I should send these details and what. And this is a flight ticket that was talking, like it was gotten. Everything was shown to me. And I said, when are you leaving? I was interested in the conclusion of the matter. And she says, on the 31st of December. <laughs> and guess what? 31st of December. She was on a flight going. Today, as I'm talking to you, is somebody I still talk to till today. She's a blessed person. Powerfully blessed. Really financially anointed. I'm telling you the truth. And she went. The moment she got where she was going, she called me on a brand new number. Showed me around the office. Showed me whatever. I was like, wow. I couldn't believe myself. The first time she was sending me a Thanksgiving seed, my heart skipped. 
Actually, that one she didn't even she did she didn't call, she call it a seed. She told me it's a Thanksgiving offering, and she told me this one man of God is not for the church. It is yours. Buy suit. Buy this. Buy that. My heart skipped. When I looked at the zeros, I said, oh my goodness. You know, I've ever looked at money and you want to speak in tongues, in capital letters. You, you, you feel like you can speak, you speak Portuguese. <laughs> I looked at the money. I said, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I sat down. Before she left, she told me, what if my bank had given me that job? And I told her, I said, anytime you receive a prophecy from God, before it gets brighter, it's always dark. It's dawn before morning. Something has to fight the prophetic word. Something has to feel like it's delaying what God is say, said. But you see, what is important is the conclusion of the matter. How it started does not matter, but how it's ending. Can I pray for somebody today? What God is preserved and kept for you this month Amen. as you wrap it up today is dropping in your hands Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. you are not missing anything god prepared for the month of may for you Amen. as you're going into june you are stepping into june with no carryovers Amen. in the name of the lord jesus Amen. good things come to those who wait yeah yeah and from that day my my faith was was encouraged. This is why today, when I'm prophesying to people, I am bored. I speak with so much power because I trust now that what I hear is actually God. You know, I've given so many controversial prophecies whereby even me, myself, I wonder if this thing is not going to come to pass, they will cut off my head. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If this thing does not come to pass, but I've gotten to a place where I can boldly tell anyone today that you can you can doubt anything about my life, no problem. But don't doubt the prophetic, because if there's something that I don't doubt, is the voice of God. If I tell you I hear Mary, it's Mary I'm hearing. If I tell you I'm seeing June, it's June I'm seeing. If I tell you I, I am so much confident in what I hear from those days. I've learned that God really speaks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want us to pray. Whatever God designed and programmed you to have this month of May. I know we are in the last day, but the conclusion is important. I want you to pray. May you not miss it. N no June. You are not stepping in June with carryovers today. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Amen. You are not carrying over the blessing that was to come. You see, carry over. What it means to carry over means is that it has been delayed. A pregnancy, a, new, a human pregnancy is only meant to last for nine months. Anything beyond nine months, they call it what? Overdue. It was meant to be yours, but it has been delayed in process. It was meant to be yours. But it has been delayed in process. It has been delayed. We prayed for somebody here in, in Livingston, a woman that was pregnant for, I think it was a year, a year or a, a, year, a year plus. I think so. 12 months or 12 months, uh, one year, three months or something like that. The pregnancy was overdue. She became a laughing stock in her area, in her community. People, you know, to talk, say, how come are you also an elephant that will carry it out for this long? And people are talking and we prayed. The baby came out. But you see, it's not like there was no baby. The baby was there, but it was overdue. Something that was supposed to be released at nine months. They carried it over to one year, three months, which was too much. I want us to pray today. I know there are things that God really prepared for you to have this month of May. And now the devil is looking forward to seeing you carrying them over to June. Uh, maybe even to December, you may not even have them. But I want you to pray. Whatever has been delayed, today, the last day of June, collect it. It may be a spiritual grace. It may be a physical substance. It may be a business connection that can really change your life. Let God drop it into your hands today. 
Are you ready to pray? Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. Say, my Father, my God, my Father, as my I, God. Seek I seek you this morning, I am interested mm -hmm. in the conclusion mm -hmm. of the month of May. Mm -hmm. Whatever is meant to be mine, mm -hmm. in May, mm -hmm. I will not carry it over to June. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, give me that business connection. Give me that blessing. Give me that anointing. Give me that oil. Give me that physical substance. May I not carry over blessings to the month of June. In the name of Jesus, whatever you designed me to have this month, Drop it in my hands today. Drop it in my hands today. Drop it in my spirit today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Open your mouth and earnestly pray. Open your mouth. Earnestly pray. Open your mouth. Earnestly, earnestly pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever you promised me, whatever you spoke to me about, whatever you told me concerning the month of May. Lord, today you would drop it in my hands. You would drop it in my hands. You would drop it in my hand. The conclusion of the matter is what is important, not how it started, not how it started. The Bible says, though your beginning was small, the end will be great. Today is the end of the month of May. Lord, let greatness come. Let greatness be released on my head. Let greatness be released today. In the name of Jesus, let mighty testimonies be released. Let blessings be released. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come on somebody, pray with me. Pray with me. Pray with me, Makaba Lagahaya. Lene Sombe Brono Mukapahande. Eraso Felete. Lekando Sobraya. Lara Sekebe. Lord, somebody that is praying along with me today. The promotion that has delayed. The promotion that you design, you designed to come in the month of May. As we pray together in this fifth month of prayer. The month of grace. Let that promotion come in their hands today. Yes, I know it's the last day of the month, but it's not too late for you to work miracles. Drop that miracle in their hands. Drop that testimony in their hand. Drop that healing in their hands today in the name of Jesus. The spiritual grace, the anointing, the favor, the business connection, the big client they have been waiting for. Lord, drop it today. Drop the answer today to their questions. Month of May, produce for me. Month of May, produce for your for, for the children of God today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Shante Gono Manto says a gindo brondo daida Lacanos Kevene Koja Leva Haya Robo Shatana Maya Kenso Vende Leka Paro Sata Yaiga Bana Mentis of A Lero Sobohuja Dahana La cose de de be de be de be de Jesu no maku brene meata in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. You see, I'm sure in the days of, jo of, of, of Joshua, some people in Zambia, if there was Zambia then, uh, <laughs> some people in this part of the world, I'm sure they wondered why the day was, was not finishing. You know, a man was doing a war somewhere and he declared, Son, can you stop, stand still where you are until we win this battle, until we win this war? For like six to eight hours, the sun was on the same point. All the clocks around the world, they froze on one point. They froze at 15 hours. That's what the Bible says. They just froze on one point, you know. And I'm sure some people that were really curious, if they really had watches then, they were removing their batteries just to check. Uh, maybe my battery is, is done. Maybe my battery is, is, is finished. Maybe I need to change. But no, 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 no. If the battery was not finished, somebody commanded the sun to stand still. In other words, their day was delayed because of one person. <laughs> but you see, it was for, for the greater good. 
Do you know also that your month can be delayed because of one person? Because of one person. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Whatever this month of May has swallowed and has vowed not to give it to you, and you know it belongs to you. <laughs> you see some prayers when we pray, they don't sound normal. But when you see the results, you will thank God later. Mm -hmm. Whatever the month of May mm -hmm. has kept from you, has hidden from you, in the name of Jesus, let this month vomit today. Amen. What belongs to you? What the month of May has kept? What this month of May has kept? Now, you see, once we step into June, this type of May is not coming back again. We're going to have another May next year, but it's not going to be the same as this one. Because this one, once a day is gone, it's gone. Once a month is gone, it's really gone. It's not coming back again. All right? Mm -hmm. So whatever this month, 20, we will never have another 2023 May. This is the first, it's the last, and it's not coming back again. It's not going to go round again. Some people say whatever go round comes around. There are things when they go round, they just go round for good. They never come back like this May. When it goes around, forget about it. It's not coming back again. But in this month of May, there are hidden mysteries. There are hidden blessings. There are great tidings in this month of May. Whatever this month of May has swallowed, let it vomit it in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Mm -hmm. Say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus this last day of May, day I, of May decree I decree and declare. Come on, repeat after me. Say, the Bible says, the Bible says you will declare a thing and it will come to pass. I decree and declare, decree whatever and this month whatever has month kept from me, has swallowed and is meant for me, is meant for my family, is is meant to expand my business is meant to do good to my ministry i decree and declare let this month of may release what belongs to me today the last day in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus before midnight today all that god meant to come my way in the month of May, locate me, locate me, locate me by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, so let me bump into my miracle. Let me bump into my blessing. Let me bump into my helper. In the name of Jesus, month of May. Produce for me today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the conclusion of the month of May is what I'm interested in. Month of May, produce what belongs to me, release what belongs to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, let's pray. Declare, 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 declare. Declare, declare, declare. Masha da Bahaya. Lord Jesus, today is the last day of the month. What was meant for me? What was meant for that brother, for that sister? What was meant for their business? What was meant to, for their family? Lord, today it has to be dropped. Month of May, we command you. Vomit. Release. Month of May, whatever you are holding, whatever you are holding back, whatever you are delaying, Release, release, release. I'm not ready to carry over nothing to June. June is a fresh month. I want to see fresh miracles. I want to experience fresh clients, fresh customers, fresh good things. Therefore, I'm not carrying over anything. Oh, God of heaven, whatever the month of May has kept from me, vomit, release, vomit, release, vomit, release. Vomit, release in the name of Jesus. La Bahaya. Erene me dele dinamo. Shago papaya. 
Lord, whatever this month has kept from me, has withheld from me, withheld from my family, withheld from, from my children, let it be released today. Let it be released today. The good, healthy, the promotion, the blessing, the opportunities in the name of Jesus. Release today by fire. Release today by fire. Release today by fire. Somebody's engagement must come this month of May. Today, the last day of the month. Today, the last day of the month. When they least expect it. When you least expect it. Today, let it come to pass. Today, let it come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to take two more prayer points and then we call it a day. You, you can go now about your day. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want you to tell God what you suffered this month of May. You will not suffer it in June. Amen. Are, we, are, you, are you ready to pray? Amen. If there has been some form of delay this month of June, uh, the month of May, you should not suffer the month of June. Mm. All right? Mm. If in business it's been dry, completely dry, or you can only you could only get a customer once a week or uh, twice a week, it shouldn't repeat itself in the month of June. Is somebody is somebody seconding me? Is somebody believing with me? Mm. If you experienced any form of struggle in your healthy in the month of May, this June it will not happen. Amen. But I want you to pray also. Oh God, what I suffered this month of May, may I not suffer the same suffer this month of June. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Amen. What my family went through this month of May, somebody was fired this month of May. Another person was doing a burial this month of May. Things shouldn't repeat themselves in June. Amen. Let there be grace. Amen. Grace, Amen. grace Amen. in the month of June. Things should be different, not repeated things, not repetition, not the not repeated or what occurrences. No, 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 no. What you suffered this month of May should not repeat itself. The hunger you experienced the month of May in June. You will not experience it. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Repeat after me. Say, my father, my God. My father, my God. May I not suffer, I not suffer what, I what I suffered in the month of May in June. Oh God, I decree and declare. As I step into a new month, as I get ready to go into June, may the suffering of this month remain in this month. May the troubles of this month remain in this month. When the discouragements of this month remain in this month. The disappointments of this month remain in this month. The dry seasons of this month, let them remain here. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I get ready to step into a new month, may I carry a different grace. Let things happen. Let blessings follow me. Let clients follow me. Let the goodness of God follow me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not struggle like I struggled this month. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Let's pray. Open your mouth. Let's pray. Oh God of heaven. I'm getting ready for June. May I not suffer the same suffer in the same in the month of June. May I not experience the dryness in the month of June. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the troubles of June of May remain in May. Jesus taught the disciples in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. 
He says, yesterday is gone with its troubles. Uh, therefore, don't worry about tomorrow. Lord, today is soon about going to become yesterday. Today, this month is soon about to become last month. And Lord, I pray any trouble that I've had this month, may it not follow me in June. Any challenge I've had this month, may, not, may I never have it in the month of June. Any suffering that I've endured this month, may I not suffer it in June. Any hunger, may I not hunger it in June. In the name of the Lord Jesus, all the troubles about May remain in May. The dryness in May remain in May. The disappointment in May remain in May. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, new clients should follow me, new customers should follow me, new blessings follow me, healthy follow me, the kind of healthy situations I suffered, the headaches, the pains, the afflictions remain in me, the blood pressure remain in me, as I go in June, may I go anointed, may I go a different person, Mashata Bahaya. Rebe de Beledesh, Lanso Compalata, Rande de Zino Mota, Jano Combe Barate, Lenzu Getoro Cabaha, Jenzu Te Belete, Le Coro Sotoba, Yano Sekele Bahaya, Le Coso Brenente, Le Zogobo Uge, Lene Maita Legona, Machate Gede, Ele Branonte, Racose. All the troubles of this month, all the times of this, all the troubles of this month. La kata pata ta ta ta, le korobu shaya, yande le brenemente. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Alright. The Lord bless you now. Let me tell you what is God saying about the month of June. What is God saying about the month of, God, of June. I'm going to read something for you. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6. The Bible says the Lord our God said to us. In Horeb, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Turn and go forward. Take your journey and go to the hill country of the Amorites. To all their neighbors in the, uh, in the Araba, in the hill country, and in the lowland, and in the Negev, by the sea coast, the land of the Canaanites and the Lebanites. As far as the great river, the river Ephraim. See, I have set a land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to give to them and their offspring. It's time. And at that time, I say to you, I am able to bear you myself. The time has come. Praise the Lord. Amen. God said in the month of June, go forward and possess your possessions. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have a big appetite to take advantage of things that are around you. Deliberately grow. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. I was seated on a chair yesterday when God spoke to me this month of June, cast your nets even deeper. All right? Take possessions. He says, cast your nets even deeper. Cast your nets even deeper. In other words, if your investment for last month was at $5, this month, cast it even more deeper. Let it go beyond because there is grace that God has given for you to take possession. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is a year of oversized growth. Please grow in all areas. Mm -hmm. I can see some of you, your prayer life has already grown. It's growing, it's multiplying. Some of you, you are studying the Bible like you never used to. Some of you, it's your giving that has really grown. Some of you, it's your business network huh, that has increased. Deliberately take position. Cast your nets into the deeper waters. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cast your nets into the deeper waters. Collect. Go forth. God is saying this month of, of June is the month of going forth mm -hmm. and collect what belongs to you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. God is going to be good to you. He's given you enough grace. Mm -hmm. Enough grace. Cast your net. Jesus looked at the disciple. He looked at Peter. He says, can you please, let's go into the deeper waters now. He didn't say the, the shallow waters. No, he says, let's go into the deeper waters. Cast your nets there even deeper. Guess what they said? He said, Jesus, we've been here all night. We caught no fish. We've been here. Please don't explain to the master that you tried something last month, this month of May, and you feel it couldn't work, doesn't mean this month of June it, it will not work. No, it's really going to work. All right? You know why? Because now you're going to work by this prophetic, prophetic word. The good part is that Jesus told them, cast now your net. There was an instruction there. The moment they hearkened to that instruction and they, they gave out, their fear, they threw it away, threw it into the dustbin, and they exercised faith by casting their nets. Guess what happened? They caught a harvest that they have never caught in a very long time. In fact, they've never caught it before. They've never had such amount of fish in all their fishing career. Throughout their fishing career, they have never had such a great catch before. They were shocked, perplexed. They were baffled. Cast your nets even deeper. This month, do it deliberately. Do it deliberately. Cast them. Go forth. You started a project and it looks like it's failing and you want to change it now. Please, God says, go forth in it. This is a word for somebody. I wish you can personalize it now. Go forth. Keep pressing in the same project that you started. Don't change it yet. Go forth in the same project. You started a particular business venture. It looks like it's not working right now, right? Because you're doing all you can to advertise and nothing is really happening. Please, don't give up. God is saying, in the same business, don't change it now. The same plan, go forth. This month of June, there will be results. I wish you can hear the voice of God right now. This month of June, there will be results. Mm -hmm. There will be results. Mm -hmm. It's not the force in the water that breaks the rock at a stream. No. It's the consistency of the flow. The consistency of the flow. The consistent. God wants you to be consistent. This month, hit, on the, 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 hit the nail on the head again. Go forth. Pursue the same career. Pursue the same project. Go with the same business idea. This is your word. This is your word. This month, cast your net even more deeper and see the salvation of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want us to, the last prayer point is just a prayer to, uh, you know, to dedicate the month of June that we are, <laughs> we are stepping into. All right? You will thank God for May and thank God for June and dedicate it to God and tell God expectations. Tomorrow as we meet, please, in the morning as we meet for morning glory, I want you to bring for me some requests, okay, prayer points. And if possible, you have my, my WhatsApp number or you can inbox me right on this platform. Just send me, you know, the requests. That you are believing. I've got a lot of things I'm believing God for in June. All right? Personally. All right? So if you have yours, let's join forces. The Bible says the prayer of agreement availeth much. All right? I want us to agree together. Send your request. The ones that I can read here, we're going to pray as a collective team. And the ones that are sensitive, I may not 
I may not say them or I may read them without mentioning your name. Praise the Lord. So just feel free, send them. Let's share this request and command the month of June to be a productive month. Praise the Lord. God says, arise, go forth. You have dwelt enough on this place where you don't have customers. Some of you are even, you, you are even feeling lazy now because since you started in the month of May, maybe you've only had, you know, clients that, <laughs> that are not even up to 20 or are up to 10 or up to 5 and you are believing God for more. I know you need much money and you are believing God for more. God says in June, the story is going to be different. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Only if you can only, you know, reinforce and go forth. All right? Restrategize and go forth. The same business plan, the same project, the same ideas, the same job you are doing, just hit again and see what God is going to do. Don't relent. Don't give up now. All right? So I want us to thank God for me. Thank God for June. And let's dedicate it to him today. Are you ready to pray with me? Mm -hmm. Open your mouth, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for men. And we thank you because today we are expecting last minute miracles. We also dedicate the month of June in your hands. Let all we do in the month of June be about Jesus. Give success to the works of our hands. Bring results to our labor. Bring grace to our hustle. Release favor to all we do. May we see your goodness. May we see your kindness. When you, may we experience your tender mercies. Good God, loving Father. Show yourself. Show yourself. This month of June. In the name of the Lord Jesus. From the first day to the last day of June. May we experience this goodness. May we experience the power. May we experience the grace. May we experience the favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Morosope Latina Mahaya. Kanso Venemante. Leira Saidi Goben. Mosha Teleka Bahana. Raso Veletina Mahande. Keche Lebrondos. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. we pray. Amen. Remember, yesterday I gave us an instruction for the month of uh, May and also for June. I talked about a Thanksgiving offering. If you have it today, please feel free to give it. And I want you now to speak into this day, today, today, today. Declare things that you just want to see today. It's the last day of the month. Just speak the things into existence. Then I pray for us. And we close for the day. Just speak. I want, I want you to tell the soil, the ground to, to produce for you. There are people that are planting in this very ground and it's not producing for, for them. Some other people's grounds, oh my God, they are seeing results. All right. I, I want you to speak into your ground. As you trade on this ground, let this ground produce for you. Let the sun favor you. The moon favor you. The Bible says it will not scorch your skin. It will not burn your skin. I want you to speak life mm -hmm. into this month. Can you open your mouth and just declare? Father, open, your mouth, Jesus, open your mouth, Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Just declare into this day. Speak into this day. Speak into this day. Lord, let this Wednesday be good to me. It may be the last day of the month, but it's not the last day of your goodness in my life. I decree and declare goodness and mercy follow me today. Let your favor follow me today. As I go out about my day, may I experience your touch, your love, your favor, your power. Let's, let there be a perfume on me today that will attract blessings my way. That, that will attract clients my way. That will attract opportunities my way. Today, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I pray for you today wherever you are. The conclusion of the matter is what is important. Today, 
within this day, Wednesday, may God give you a 24-hour miracle. Mm -hmm. Something that will happen today. Mm -hmm. Something that will not happen tomorrow. Something that will happen today. Mm -hmm. I pray for you today, whatever God had designed from the beginning of time that you should have it in the month of May. And now it's been delayed. I pray for you. Let it drop in your hands. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. may you sign that contract if you are believing God for one. Mm -hmm. May you get a business deal if you are believing God for one. Mm -hmm. May God give you a promotion if you are believing God for one. Mm -hmm. May you get a salary increment if you are believing God for one. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may you have good health today if you are believing God for healthy. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Lord Jesus opportunities follow you through to the month of June. Mm -hmm. May you walk in favor. May you walk in grace. Mm -hmm. And may God be good to you and all that concerns you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, your Wednesday is blessed. Mm -hmm. This sun will favor you. Mm -hmm. The moon will favor you. Mm -hmm. The stars of the sky will favor you. Mm -hmm. The atmospheric condition will be good to you. Mm -hmm. Your enemies are going to shield and protect you. Mm -hmm. Even those that love you, they will stand by you. Mm -hmm. You will experience grace and favor today. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. We've come to the end of the session, and I'm so excited that we are praying together. Let's meet tomorrow again. Please, that your Thanksgiving offering, there's a contact number there. Feel free to send it. It doesn't matter how much it is. You're just thanking God for the month of May and also dedicating your month of June into his hands. All right, just send it there, and it's going to be used for kingdom expansion, and God is going to be good to you. My name remains Apostle Israel Nation. And I'm so excited to have you today till we meet tomorrow morning for early will I seek you for now. Shalom and God bless you.